Hello everybody, it's Forever Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Bachelor Pad. Before I get into anything, I just want to say if some of the Sims look a little different, that is because I um, deleted most of my CC. So a lot of the CC they used to have is no longer in my game, so that's why they uh, look different. For example, Marcella no longer has her freckles because that skin got deleted. Now, back to <laughs> what this episode's actually about. In the last one, um, you know, a lot happened, kind of. I mean, all the guys sort of went to the bowling alley together. Chris found out that Marcella is pregnant with his child and um, they got engaged and he moved in with her in Eden. Um, I went ahead and fast forward until now when Marcella is giving birth. Um, I just really wanted to be there for this moment of, you know, Marcella having their baby. So that is why I made the decision to just jump ahead to it. Um, I know that this is David's part and we will definitely be focusing on David. I just really wanted um, to be here when Marcella had this little baby. So she is currently in labor in the middle of the flippin living room and no one seems to really uh care that much or have noticed uh but that's okay we are going to go have the baby at the hospital we are going to join her and bring mr chris along with us um which is pretty exciting so yeah uh they are engaged they are going to have their wedding um in Chris's next part, um, which won't be for like three more parts, but it should be, you know, a good time. Um, and yeah, I am going to have them move into a new house because this one doesn't have like a bedroom for the baby, you know? So, oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is Chris's mommy, Molly Briggs. Oh, and she's delivering the baby. That is so sweet. Aw, oh, Grandma's delivering the baby. That's so cute. Um, I'm going to have Marcella come and check in at the front desk. Um, she is super pregnant and about ready for this little baby to pop. Um, I don't know. Like, I haven't picked out any baby names or anything. So, like, I'm just going to do what I usually do and just kind of come up with it on the spot, you know? Um, he's not having any, like, pre-parental panic or anything, which kind of makes me worried that the baby isn't actually his. Um, I mean, I don't know for sure if it's actually his baby, I'm just assuming, because they woohooed, like, right before we found out that she was pregnant. So I'm just assuming it's hers, but of course, oh my god, if it's Carl's, I'll actually die. This is Carl Higgins, he's, um, a bit of a man, um... A man who gets around, let's say. So, wouldn't be surprised if it's Carl's. Just saying. Um, yeah, okay. Girl, you really need to go to the bathroom before you... Oh, just kidding. It boosted up all of her needs. That's great. Can we, like, have this baby, please? Chris, why don't you go on in? Um, see what happens. Okay, there. she's going into the room now, I think. Let's see what room she picks. Molly's going in too. Yes, mama. I like how she walks. Like, I'm pretty sure the patients aren't allowed in this little lab room, but you know, she, she don't care. She went in there anyway. Okay, she's in her little gown. That's a pretty one. I like the suns. And Mama Briggs is ready to get this baby born. All right, here we go. surgery is being performed. I need to move Chris because he is like in the way. Chris, come, come here. Can, can you do that for me, babe? I have to put the walls up. I want to get a picture. Why is my life a mess? There we go. I don't like that the plumb bobs are in it. But what are you going to do? This is what happens when you're unprepared like me. This is a good picture. Okay. Got it. Oh, it's a boy. Marcella just gave birth to a baby boy. This baby needs a name. What would you like to call him? His last name is going to be Briggs. I don't know if it's two G's or one G's, but we're putting two G's. Um, 
that's right he's getting his daddy's last name and he's gonna like it and oh my goodness i'm so excited chris gets a little baby boy this is actually making me so happy um okay let's name it hmm. we have chris marcella aaron and hmm Maybe like, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling the name Brady for some reason. So let's name him Brady. Brady. Like the Brady Bunch, kind of. Okay. And it's only one. Thank the sweet heavens. Congratulations. The doctor has prepared the birth certificate. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Look at it. Name Mr. Brady Briggs. That's such a cute name. Okay, there's two Gs. Oh, girl, she got her cute outfit on. She's like, mm -mm, I'm looking fly with my new baby. Look at her slaying. Oh, she's so pretty. Honestly, this baby is going to be so adorable. I can't not wait. Aww. So cute. Oh, yeah, the baby. That's adorable. I'm in love. Seriously, you guys. In love. Okay. Um, I'm going to have them head home now. Poor Chris is actually in like a pretty foul mood because, you know, he, he was not prepared at all for this. Yeah, he just wasn't. Um, they are heading on home now, which is pretty exciting. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and move them into a bigger house and I'm going to check back with you guys once i have done that so i'm gonna see you guys in a second okay you guys i just want to pop in quickly and show you the house that i am placing for these guys so it is called the amber spring family home i was drawn to it because my name is amber yeah okay it's fine um and i really really like this house i think it's super beautiful um, it has four bedrooms and two bathrooms, which is more bedrooms than we actually need, but I might take one of the bedrooms and turn it into a bathroom because, yeah, I just, my sims always need to always pee at the same time and it's a struggle. But yeah, I really, really love this house. So this is the house that I am moving Marcella, Chris, Eden, Aaron, and Brady into. Just wanted to show it to you guys so that you can find it for yourself if, you know, you want to download it. Oh, it's by um, Smub Cakes is what I'm going to go ahead and call this person. So, yeah, it's super cute, okay? I, I'm in love. Okay, you guys, um, we're back in our, you know, regular household. Um, Chris and Marcella and all of them are comfortably settled into their brand new house. And, um, yeah, it is the next morning. Um, David is just chatting with Penny over some breakfast. She already finished hers, but, you know, it's, it's fine. Um, he actually has this mood lit. You'll remember he got it the other night about wanting to woohoo with Penny. Now you see, Penny wants to get married to Logan, but she also does feel this lovebird connection with David. So I honestly don't think that she would be opposed to a little woohoo and I have said this before, I am trying to fulfill their whims, do whims that they want to do. Brent wants to woohoo too, he wants to woohoo in a bush, get it on boo boo. Um, oh he wants to be funny with Brent, that's so cute. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I think they're going to do that because I mean it's David's part, you know, we're focusing on him, what he wants to do that sort of thing so after David finishes eating um, I think I'm going to have them you know I mean it's kind of risky because um, Logan is home thank you to that person that downloaded my thing by the way I don't know if you saw that someone downloaded one of my apartment renovations how sweet of them um, yeah Logan's home he is at the stairs practicing and singing because he is upstairs I kind of want them to do it down here right like so he doesn't hear anything you know they're trying to play it safe so I think that they are gonna do it in the bush outside <laughs> right because that way I mean he's not gonna hear that he is all the way inside 
There ain't no way. Oh, we got his royalty report. He really does not make that much in royalties, but you know, it's all good. It's all good. We'll have him write some more books later. What is his writing skill even at? Level six? He's pretty high in the writing skill. I don't know why he doesn't make that many. Oh no. Brent's outside. Lord help me. Brent, I think you should just stop what you're doing. <sighs> okay, um. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Brent saw. Brent definitely saw. Okay. 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 Lord help me. Lord have mercy. Okay, this just happened. Um. Okay. I swear. Brent was supposed to be working on his programming skill upstairs. Um. But I mean. Now he's angry <laughs> from the wind chimes, but I think it might be a little bit more than the wind chimes that's um, making him angry. I think he's just going to go inside. Honestly, just, it's fine. Go inside. Just forget that this happened, okay? Let's just forget. Okay, for forget. It's fine. Um, since Logan leveled that up, he actually needs social skill, but... Was that fun, you guys? Did you enjoy that? I hope so, because, oh, pleasantly satisfied. Yeah, they liked it. They definitely enjoyed it. He still thinks of Penny as an acquaintance. Wow, that's awkward. Um, he wants to woohoo in a bush again. Well, I mean, the man wants what the man wants. Am I right? So, it's like they're just going to have to go for round two. I'm going to come in here because that's making me a little uncomfortable. I'm going to have Brent change into an everyday outfit and um, chat a little bit with Logan. Um, not about what he saw. I think he's still a little bit confused about what he saw. He definitely saw them. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's a little bit not the best thing that ever happened in this Let's Play. Oh my goodness. Um, how, how's he doing out here? He's having, having a good second woohoo, second go round. Still just thinks of her as an acquaintance. Great. Okay, well, as fun as this has been, um, Penny is going to go inside and, and work a little bit. I'm going to have her come stream a Let's Play. And um, I don't know what is even happening right now. Um, that happened. That just happened. They just woohooed twice, and I swear to goodness gracious, if Penny Pizzazz is pregnant, um, we about to have a problem. Um, anyways, <laughs> David is actually going to go ahead and call his brother, because he got a text from his brother last night saying that they needed to talk, that he had something he needed to tell him. So, David is going to go ahead and give him a call. Oh! I didn't know we were inviting him over. Did I accidentally hit invite over? Well... Okay, apparently Martin's coming over, guys. Um, Alright. Well, that's fun. Did I not just stream a Let's Play? Oh, she wants to do it from the computer. Okay, girl, okay. Be like that. I guess. Um, where is it? Play game? Stream Let's Play? My Sims Go, got it. Okay, anyways. Um... Our beloved brother is here, so I'm going to have him go chat with him a little bit, um, try to cheer him up. Apparently he's a little bit sad about something, and you know, David don't want his brother to be sad, so we're going to go try and cheer him up a little bit. Hopefully, you know, we can't, excuse me, um, 
Yeah, we're just gonna chat, chitty chat a little bit. He's very sad. Oh, talk through the door. That's a lovely idea, seriously. Oh, he's really in a bad mood. He, like, we tried to flatter him, and he was, like, not going for it. He is really just not, he's in a bad mood. He is really in a bad, okay, try to cheer him up. Stop doing whatever it is you're doing, because whatever you're doing is making things worse. And just try to cheer him up. Apparently he doesn't want to be cheered up. Well, I want to cheer you up, Martin, so stop being a bum about it. And just let me love you. Jeez. Yeah, he's really in a bad mood. I just want to try and cheer you up, for God's sake. Oh, there we go. Did it work? Is he feeling better? It didn't work. He's in a really bad mood. Well, right now he's basically saying, look, David, I know I said I want to talk to you, and I'm honestly in a really bad mood right now because um, I finalized the divorce with Helen, and it's just a lot. I mean, I know she did something really horrible to me that completely ruined our family, and, you know, this is what needed to happen, but it's just really hard to actually go through the process, and I'm just sorry I'm being so difficult today. It's just that the finalizing of the divorce is making me really sad, but there's something that he actually wants to show David, so um, he's, we're going to travel with him, okay? He's in a really upset mood because, you know, him and Helen finalized their divorce and everything like that, and, you know, he's, he's pretty bummed about it because that's something really hard for a family to go through, and it's really affecting his daughter a lot. Actually, Helen did give birth to the, the child she was pregnant with. Um, it was a girl, a little baby girl. She's super cute. Um, so there's that that happened. Um, but yeah, he he wants to actually show David his brand spanking new house that I built, by the way. Um, link to the speed build for this house in the description down below. It is titled Quaint Family Home because I'm so creative. Um... So yeah, if you want to see the speed build for this house we're about to look at, you know, link down below. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it's a three bedroom, two bathroom. He was finally able, once, you know, he finalized the divorce, he got quite a fair bit of money out of it. And he was able to put that towards the new house. Plus, you know, he was doing really, really well as far as work goes. So that really, really helped towards it as well. And yeah, he was able to, to purchase this house. It's a one-story little house. Um, I know the front was supposed to be over here, but I put it over here because I don't, I don't know. This is just what happened. It would definitely look a lot better on this lot. Like, I built it on this lot. So yeah, just don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Just, it's fine. Um, but yeah, this is the house. So I'm gonna have David come on in. This is really exciting. Um, the other exciting news that he has, we actually won't see until a little bit later in the day, which is pretty exciting if you ask me. Um, yeah, there is, there is some other news. Um, so you can see he has, you know, a kid's room for Alice and a little toddler room for, um, his other daughter when she ages up. I'll show you the family tree really quickly. So, yeah, he has Miss Terry is her her newest newest daughter his newest daughter I meant to say so yeah that's pretty sweet oh my goodness David's gonna have to start you know having a baby hopefully not with Penny um, but you know <laughs> having a baby so that um, you know he his so that Martin's kids oh he came to give us a hug that's so sweet see he's like you know thanks for dealing with me even when I'm in such a bad mood and being so awful to you. You're a really great brother and I really like you. Thanks. Thanks. It means a lot, man. It really does. Well, this is really sweet. Very, very excited for him that he, you know, was able 
to to get back on his feet even after going through such a hardship and um and get his own house you know get surprise surprise custody of his daughter that is right he got custody of Alice he won custody of her he was able to prove that Helen was an unfit mother and he was able to get custody of her he, um, Helen still has visitation on the weekends but for the most part Martin is the primary parent which is super exciting um, he does not have custody of Terry he does have visitation rights but he doesn't have custody of her but he is going to fight for her so I'm gonna have David come over here and give um, Alice a hug is that what he's doing Because I wanted him to but I think it canceled yeah I'm gonna have him come give her a little hug and it's gonna be super cute he's very very excited for his brother that because you know this is something that Martin really really wanted it was really important to him so very exciting that he was able to um, to do this and have him hug again so I can get a cute picture. Aww, cute. Okay, they're adorable. So yeah, this is something that is definitely super exciting for the family that you know he was able to score this deal. Um, this house is pretty beautiful also might I add um, I'm really proud of it I think it looks pretty good pretty good what are you oh I see you oh that's Molly hey mama Briggs how you doing okay anyways my game's being all glitchy um but on that note I actually think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here because we are running out of time I did not get as much done as I wanted to but that is okay, I suppose. Um, Marcella had her baby. Uh, David had a little bit of woo-hoo-dee with someone he shouldn't have. And Brent, you know, accidentally got a little front row seat. It's fine. Um, and we found out some really good news, so that's pretty happy. It's good to have some good news. Um, but anyways, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I will see you in my very next video. Bye, guys. Oh, that was so cute.